once I'm involved in a project and once I've finished a project, that project then belongs to the audience. I hope that some people have been affirmed by what I've done. And if that has happened, I'll be really happy. I appeared in the Nativity play in elementary school. I have a photograph of me um, at five years old when I was playing one of the kings. I'm standing there uh, with these two other kids on either side of me, and I'm, I got my chin kind of stuck out like that. And I was really, I was really proud. There was something about um, how it made me feel, and I think that that's when I got the bug, literally when I was five years old. From that time on, I had this notion in my head that when I grew up, I, I wanted to be an actor. I was uh, sitting in a casting director's office, and she said to me, um, what, what do you want from your career? And you know, I'm green, I'm just, I'm just starting, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm intimidated. And, and I said to her, you know what, I, I, um, I want to be respected as an actor. And this woman kind of rolled her eyes and said, well, yeah. She, did, she didn't say anything. Uh, she didn't articulate anything negative. But her response was, was a little kind of patronizing. And maybe she thought it was a very generic answer. But I really meant it, because that is what I set out to do at the beginning of my career. I had a ball playing Satchel Paige. And that is one of the films that I am most proud of in my career. Um, ah, I was scared. I was scared to play the part. How do you play an icon in American culture, in American sports, but in American culture? What I understood from doing the research um, was that his personality was very different from my own. Satchel Paige constantly used, used humor to mask his own personal pain. He used humor all the time. And I'm not like that. The challenge in playing that part was was to approximate that quality in expressing the humor. I was uptown, and I was in my car, and I stopped at a light, and there were about four brothers walking across the street. And these cats, uh, well, they looked like they were homeless. And these cats walked in front of my car, and one of the cats looked and did a double take. And he said to me, Hey, hey, Mr. Lindo, man, keep doing what you're doing. And uh, <laughs> that just really meant a lot to me, you know, because at that moment, you know, where I am in my life and where these cats were in, in their lives, we were, you know, worlds apart. But apparently, something that I had done meant something to them. And that meant something to me. There are, there are times when I feel that I'm communicating more strongly as a human being through my work than in my everyday life. Mm -hmm.